Yeah. So what's your view on this singularity that some people predict? That's not, I mean, the, the definition of the singular, singularity of, of is sort of relies on this notion that, that, you know, as soon as you get to the point of there being more computation in a computer than there is in a human brain, that all of a sudden everything the brain can do, the computer can do. And I think that's a, um, that's a big leap. Mm -hmm. Many people seem very hung up on this idea, though. I mean, there's many books about possible yep. dangers. It's very, it's a very enticing, it's a very uh, enticing line of argument. And it's very appealing, but I think it's it's not where we should be focusing our energy right now. It's not something that's on the, um, you know, uh, I think it was Andrew Ng who first said that it's you know worrying worrying about computers destroying the world is like worrying about overpopulation on Mars. Right? There's so far to get to the point of even being able to do the thing the, the things that would lead to the danger um, that, you know, we, we should focus our energy on, on the, the capabilities. And there's a lot of, I think, excitement um, around still understanding what are the limits of, of computation? What is it the computers can do? What can't they do? What are the algorithms for making, making computers and more intelligent? Um, and, you know, it's, I think uh, that, that's where we should be focusing our energy.